Ready? Ready. Ready, Grizzly. What is that from? I don't know. You say it all the time. Ready, Grizzly? I don't think so. You, You're hallucinating this morning. You literally say that all the time. No, I do not. Ready, Grizzly? <laughs> yes, you say it literally all I the time. I may have said it once. You say, you've said it probably at least a thousand times in a reaction video. No. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. I'm Corbin. I'm Grizzly. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the like button. And today we're doing a watch along. Yeah. Uh, you saw the title. Yeah. Uh, we are doing a watch along of Bombay Talkies. And if my eating bothers you, I apologize, but I am a human being and I need sustenance. Well, don't do it in the mic. Anyways, but we are doing a watch along of the Who's mic. Yeah. Anthology of Bombay Talkies with Karen Johar, Zoya Anurag, and. Um, we're watching what? Bombay Talkies. All of them? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Gonna punch you in the face. But uh, obviously, it's a watch along, so you'll see this on YouTube. Um, it'll be in a very cut up footage. Shout uh, out to YouTube. Yeah. No, uh, YouTube's kicking TikTok's butt. Congratulations. For the demographic of the kids. So all to the to all the kids out there, fuck yeah! Riggs in a weird mood today. <laughs> uh, but it, uh, if you'd like to see the full uncut versions, you can head over to Patreon uh, and and check those out. I'll put the link in the description below and the pinned comment. I can only use a limited amount of picture I, in picture. How do you do that? What? How do you put the links in the description below? Shut up. Because uh, so, yeah. I'm thinking golf. Anyways, shut up. I will cut you off any other time you interrupt. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you going to do if I fart? Inter same thing. Um, so, anyways, please go check those out on Patreon. If not, let's just get into this. This has been a long time waiting. Karen ah. Johar. There Starting off with him. How exciting. <laughs> What? Uh, ah, relief. It's been wanting to do that for a long, long time. time. Why have I heard this song? Did we react to it? Very pretty. I'm so excited to watch Ronnie. Is that Ronnie? Yeah. Oh, wow. Do we know him? He looks familiar. I don't know, but he was giving her a look. Eyes off, pal. I'm done. I'm going to temporary. But if you have a recommend, I'll be permanent. Let's see if he lasts that long. Trust me, I last very long. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Give by the way. Yeah, madam, it's not flat reaction. This line is over reaction. Why? Gay or terrorist? Yeah, you have to say to my father. If you're going to leave, you're going to leave. Just be and simple. Right. Can we work now? Yeah. Sure. You want some red sticks? Mm. You know, I always wanted more. Is that John Abraham? No, it's not. He's just as big as John Abraham. Jeez. By the way, Victory Devi. Um, excuse me. Big Street Devi fan. Present? Hmm. Fifty Shades of Grey. Is this a cup of literature? Means you have to Of course. Normally, you ready, Yep. Mm. Mm, smells good. Thank you very much. Surprise guest. What's your name? 
इसलिए मैं जमीन आई तुमने किसी लड़के को डिनर पे बुलाया पूरी जनरेशन की प्रॉब्लम है मुझे बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं पुरानी यादें पुराने गीत पुराने गीत देव लव थैंक यू ब्रदर विद लाइक दिस गाय म्यूजिक यार लग जा गए बाउल टाइम पे Whoa, you just had something in common with a gay guy. Does that make you gay? Let's find out. I think so. <laughs> He's going to turn out to be a closeted gay and break up with her for him. Or maybe she brought him he, him over cuz she knew. Maybe Either way, Ronnie's going to walk away heartbroken. Man, yeah. yeah. He likes it. She likes being the third wheel. <laughs> She'll never. She'll I never we, get love. I want to interview her and talk to her about that. <laughs> By the way, for all of you heterosexual males, anytime you hang around a gay, a gay guy, you'll you'll become gay. Just in case you were wondering. Just keep trying. I'll get back in five. Especially those of you really <laughs> afraid of it. How can you sexually out? Happy Pride Month, by the way. Yes. I didn't know what any of these were about. So right. Yeah. Kind of fitting. Uh oh. What's going to happen here? I don't know but this is screwed up of him to do. Let's let's let it finish. And then. Yeah, but, yeah, but if he's if he's coming on to a married man that's that's fucked up. You want to come in? I know. You want to come on? Nice play. Yeah. That's not Randy Puda, right? Who? Randy Puda. Speak here in Joe Hart's house. <laughs> sexual That's sexual assault. <laughs> Bro, you're being a real creep right now. Ow. About time. Even if he is, you can't come on to somebody like that, bro. <laughs> Not at all. He's overstepped boundaries a um, million times already. Go up and kiss somebody's neck like your Shahrukh Khan. He's in while they're at work. Yeah. And he's a married man. Yeah. This is not a very good look. I'm, I'm really sorry. I got your address from your office. I Love scene coming. Just, coming up just go. Just go. Hey. You heard man. Can you just go? <laughs> you punched him in the <laughs> face, no, no. bro. <laughs> Can you just go? Can you just go? Okay, now you're being really aggressive. I'm sorry. Guys, we can handle this way better. His aggression's really coming out. Yikes, bro. Get the hell out of here, you bloody lunatic! Get the hell out of here! We I don't, I don't think you guys are a match. I'm just gonna be honest. They just got me. Oh shit! What an asshole! Oh my god! Everything's about him. Mad. Just give me a minute. I'm coming. Mm. Yeah. You are very aggressive, my man. This is yours. What if it is? 
ने फलाए I think it's actually good to talk about them for yeah. maybe maybe just shortly between, sh- sh- quick, just, shortly in between just shortly them. thoughts and something and then oh, we'll I f- get to that at the I end. feel like that girl so, is going to be the one common denominator in her, all four on things the, uh, the bridge yeah the bridge okay. and the train station that, that for some a, reason I feel like that's going to be, be a, a good call um, so this was Kieran Johars right um, and I thought obviously the, the, the reason he put it a, a strange tale was the thing he ended on mm. a very complex story that I think he he's probably wanted to do a, a story like this mm-hmm. and I think he liked because he did Kank which we haven't seen which is also another one that's more of a a fair style film that mm-hmm. is um, not a lot of people like this one it, it's you don't <laughs> like you're like you shouldn't do that bro you also shouldn't do that what is going on here why are you <laughs> like nobody's like really the the hero of the film, except Ronnie, might, Ronnie is always. I don't think she's the hero. She's, she's the one who. I think she's, she's the only one who acted with any level of decorum and selflessness. Yeah, the other two were selfish and toxic. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, um, but I mean, obviously, that was their characters, and that's what they were supposed to do. That he wanted yeah. to tell this story, and it, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I thought everybody did a very good job. Um, it's it's a. Uh, obviously, it's a uh, shout out to Kieran Johar for for telling this story. Um, I, my guess is that the 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 intern guy had been kind of locked away by his parents, and he's he's wanting to explore. He's out on his own. He's wanting to explore your sexuality. He doesn't know how to do it in terms of, I guess, with any kind of decorum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how to you know not approach people at work who aren't out that who are married who <laughs> like. Um, all that kind of stuff, and then the other guy is clearly closeted and has a bunch of aggression about mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's, I, I, I enjoyed that the full thing. It's, it was something that's more of like hard to watch kind of thing because it's not really like a happy story. <laughs> it yeah, but it for me it felt I never really got absorbed into the characters because it felt clunky mm. and it some of the dialogue felt, felt clunky. contrived in spots. So mm. it never really fully submerged me into. Um, really caring about anybody other than a partial caring that I carry into it with 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 Ronnie. Do you think that's just because the the subject matter makes you mad? No, because you you have a problem usually with stuff that has to do with like affairs and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that bothers me, but I can also separate gotcha. the the just the the script clunkiness yeah. and the things being done for affectation versus justified within the realm of. Um, I, I, that that was some of the things I felt that were done for effect rather than being done for gotcha. uh, perpetuation of story and justification in real fleshed out yeah. people. It gotcha. felt like this was a, a that this was gone into with here's the message we're going to give, and mm-hmm. every story has a message that's for sure. Yeah, but not at the expense of you know good writing and good character development, and you, it's really hard. To get a message across about something when the characters, two of the three characters involved are just not good people. There's there's really nothing to root for in yeah. anybody there except Ronnie's character. And then to have a, I, I, it would be really difficult for me to play a character where in one moment I feel utterly betrayed by my spouse for cheating on me. And then I can just put my hair back and go, I'm actually happy I'm free now. I just felt like that was lame screenwriting. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think that's just a. Obviously, you can. That's because you, you have, do you that. have thirty minutes to tell the story. Yeah, but um, I think she had been unhappy in the marriage for a long time, and so now she's free. So I didn't. I didn't feel like that. That moment was. I thought that I do agree. There were some clunky moments, definitely in the in the script and dialogue for sure. Um, I chalk that up to. Uh, I don't know if Karen Johar wrote the dialogue, but <laughs> that's a lot of his style is very over dramatic kind of writing uh, mm. from what I've noted but obviously this is probably the latest thing we've ever seen of his I think yeah almost everything else is from the 90s right or early 2000s I would I would uh, guess that's a safe estimate yeah we'll see how probably uh, anyways but yeah so that was the first one uh, we'll, get, we'll go over everything at the end but I wanted yeah. to at least give each one a little talking right 
Uh, this guy directed uh, Detective Bomkeshi. With uh, the one we're about to watch, yes, yes. directed the uh, the, the yes. Sushant one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Bengali, obviously. Yep. Uh, let me make sure the audio is still going here. And that'll be the end of our part one reaction. If once again, if you'd like to see the full uncut version, you can head over to Patreon. I will put the link in the description below and the pinned comment. On to the next part.